Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to the Medieval Keep interior tutorial. Today we're going to continue where we left off in part 1 and finally get this build over and done with. There's been 4 videos for this particular build, 2 for the exterior and 2 for the interior and you can find the links to those in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I just want to let you guys know also that I'm not going to go too much into detail when it comes to interior decoration. I just want to get the initial structure complete and I'll give you a couple of tips and pointers on how to build the fireplace, the tables and chairs in the council room and just a couple of tips, kind of like a show around as well of the original building and hopefully get this finally complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I would much appreciate it if you do and without further ado, Let's begin. Right guys, so here we are, ready to begin, and before we move back upstairs where we left off part 1, there's a few things I need to show you how to build on the first floor. So make your way through here into the store, where I'm going to show you how to build a staircase down into another room. You can make that pretty much whatever you want, it can be a prison, a dungeon, it's totally up to you. But initially, I'm going to show you how to build the structure. So grab some spruce wood slab and we're going to extend these blocks an extra block. So that's one, two, three, oak wood slab, spruce wood slab, one, two, oak wood, spruce wood, and then one more time, spruce wood, oak wood, and spruce wood. Now grab some oak wood blocks and we're going to place an extra pillar in this corner. So remove one block of spruce wood slab and place one, two, and three blocks. Now grab some fence and we're going to create a banister, so place two blocks here, two and two, bring it straight across the top and then place an extra two blocks in the corner and that is your entrance down into the cellar. We're going to grab some spruce wood stair blocks, we're going to remove one, two and three and we're going to place the staircase as follows, one and two. Now go back to some spruce wood slab and we're going to extend this an extra block. So again, spruce wood slab and oak wood slab in the middle. Underneath the spruce wood, we're going to place some spruce wood stairs. And underneath the oak wood slab, we're going to place some oak wood stairs, just like that. Now obviously we need to empty out this area, so just remove 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And again, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, if you make your way right behind the oak wood stairs, you can place a block of glowstone. Right beside the glowstone, underneath, you can place some spruce wood stairs like this. And you can also cover this up, so grab some spruce wood slab and place a block right there. And that will allow you to place a trap door covering the glowstone just slightly. And it just basically looks a lot nicer. This is going to be your entrance, so just break two blocks and your door will go right there. Obviously, you need to fix up this. You need to remove the dirt blocks and replace it with the appropriate block. So let's grab some cobblestone and some oak wood. Continue the pillar as follows. Two blocks, cobblestone for the walls, spruce wood blocks for that underneath here as well. On the sides. And then finally, the cobblestone right here. You can also change the floor, obviously this is bedrock, I'm just going to leave it like that. But this is the initial entrance into your next room. Right guys, now this is the original version of this build. I'm going to show you the store just to give you a rough idea of what you should do. I mean this is really really simple, it's just a square which has been cut out and each of the corners have been filled in with an oak beam. As for light, it's actually hidden underneath this hopper. If I remove this crafting table, you can see it's right on the floor there. Um, it's quite useful and a good source of light. Now, as I said before, you can obviously expand on this room, make it a lot bigger. You could make it a dungeon, a prison. You could even make it a library. Totally up to you. Now, if you make your way over to the other side of the castle, we're going to basically just fix up this wall, add two blocks of spruce wood slab over here just to cover up this gap. And then very, very simply just cover this up using some slab some oak wood slab for the center here and there you go right guys now another thing we need to build on the first floor is the fireplace in the blacksmith area so first off grab some stone bricks and remove four blocks of spruce wood slab from corner to corner and replace it with some stone bricks 
Then go over to the center and remove two blocks, an extra two blocks, and then place your nether rack. That is where the fire is going to be. We're going to place two pillars by removing this block of spruce wood slab. This is your first pillar. Do the same on this side, and that is your second pillar. Across the front of these blocks, we're going to place some iron bars. That looks a lot more decorated. Grab some stone brick stairs. We're going to place one here and one here. We're going to create a corner block just like that. And now we need to go over to the top floor, remove some of these spruce wood slabs and actually replace it. If not, it's actually going to burn down the floor. So make your way up to the second floor where you can find the top of the fireplace. And basically what we're going to do is just remove the spruce wood slab from the top here where you can now see the netherrack and you can now actually light this up one and two. If you do have a window, just replace it with some cobblestone. Also remove these two blocks of oak beam and you can now just basically fill this up using the same pattern as the wall. So stone bricks straight across and then fill up the remaining space using some cobblestone. You can also fill up these gaps using some cobblestone stairs. Right guys, so we can now move back upstairs where we left off with part 1 and we're going to continue by building the three prison cells which are found in this small tower to the right. So make your way over to this porch and we're just going to basically break our way through this wall. One, two, one, two, one, two and make your way inside. Now what you're going to notice is that the walls are extremely jagged and very not finished. So grab some cobblestone and what we're going to do is just fill up every single gap. We're not going to use up this space because we're going to make it very very small, basically very small prison cells. So just fill up all the remaining space and when you're done we can continue. So what you should be left with is basically a 5x5 five five square and now what we're going to do is create each individual floor. Right guys, so there are three levels and the first ceiling is going to begin just half a block off this entrance. So let's fill this in. And the entrance to the second prison cell is going to be through here which is one of the main defensive balconies. Make your way back inside, we're going to create the second ceiling, which is very simple, just basically from this um, entrance. And one of the advantages of having two layers of cobblestone is that you can change some of the cobblestone for moss stone, which makes the prison cell look a lot more dark, a lot more gloomy, um, old, basically a prison cell, as simple as that. The entrance to each prison cell is pretty simple. Top floor over here, you're going to have an iron door with a lever. Second floor, another iron door with a lever. And for the first prison cell, just a little bit of extra work here. Grab your iron door, place it right here. You're going to grab two full blocks and fill this in and you're also going to place some stair blocks if I can find it, cobblestone stairs and place it to one side and your lever can go right in this gap. Right guys, now at the moment there isn't actually an entrance up to this balcony. So if you make your way over here where we just placed the iron door place another entrance to this side and as you can see this is the last tower which we need to finish to finally finish off this interior structure. So the very first step to building this last tower is to grab some oak wood and place a pillar from this corner all the way up to the top until it meets with the ceiling. Once you've done that break off this block and make sure that the pillar is perfectly aligned with the flag. 
So now grab some cobblestone and you can fill this in, one, two, one, two, all the way across, like that. And the first ceiling is going to start from this entrance. So just fill this in with full blocks and make sure you leave a gap for the ladder. Now across this edge you can place some cobblestone stairs, just like that. And you're also going to notice that you do get some shadows, so you can basically change this for full blocks of cobblestone. And if you grab some cobblestone wall, you can fill up the gaps to make it look that slight bit nicer. There we go, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now the way the oak beam actually joins off with the wall looks slightly weird so you might want to change that for a full block and place some cobblestone wall one two three to make it look slightly better and you could do the same on this side so full block of cobblestone and then one two three blocks of cobblestone wall. So moving on to the next floor grab some ladder and place it right against the oak beam until you reach the next floor. For this ceiling, just grab some cobblestone slab and as from here, just fill this in. And again, don't forget to leave a gap for the ladder. So once again grab some ladder and make your way up to the next floor and now we're going to grab some oak wood slab or jungle wood slab and we're going to fill this in as from here and this is going to be the last floor for this tower where we're going to have the dormitories for some of the troops. Once you've done that, you're going to notice that we do also have this gap along the top. So grab some cobblestone and fill this in to finish off. Now instead of continuing the ladder from the bottom floor all the way up to the top, we're going to change this. We're going to place your jungle wood slab to fill this in. And we're going to begin the ladder as from this corner. So place your ladder, one, two, three, four, and you also have space to place a trapdoor on that entrance. Also make sure that you place the trapdoor on this side instead of on this side. If not, you won't be able to climb up. Right guys, now one more thing on the first floor, if you want to add your chandelier right on top of the staircase, grab some spruce wood stairs, place it right across here, and one block in front of the staircase, place one, two, three blocks of fence, and then one, two, three, and four, and on top of the fence, just place your torches. And there you have a nice chandelier which provides plenty of light for the staircase. Now also up in the council room, you're going to notice that the room is pretty big, so you might want to add some extra support. If you grab some fence, you can place one, two, three, and one, two, three. Do the same on this side, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. You could also use cobblestone wall, but I think this looks a lot more realistic if you just use fence. Right guys, so that is practically everything for the interior structure of the build. 
as I said before, I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to interior decoration, but I am going to give you a quick show around of the original building and give you some tips and some pointers on some of the stuff you need to do. It's really late, I need to work tomorrow, so I'm going to make this nice and quick. Um, also, I'm just dying in my room, it's so hot, it's like a sauna in here. I just can't wait for winter. I'm going to make a lot of videos, I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff planned for you guys. Um, but I just can't work in these conditions, damn it. Also, when I'm recording, I can't put the air conditioning because it makes way too much noise. But um, anyway, um, a few things you need to know. Um, obviously, with the outside of the build, you know, add some boxes. You've got some flower pots over here. Just some grass, a grass block with some uh, trap doors all the way around. We've got some hay and some paintings. Um, these are flags. Obviously, you can also download the texture pack. You can find the link in the description below. Right guys, so making your way into the castle, the first thing you're going to notice are these torches which are held with an item frame and an anvil, um, quite a useful design. Over to the left we have the blacksmith area, lots of paintings, we've got this iron block in the center to represent an anvil. We've got the cauldron filled with water, some storage. Um, this again is a head which has been retextured. Um, again, lots of paintings. Um, we've got the crafting tables which have been fitted into the floor. Obviously, this is a half slab floor, so it's kind of useful. And this would be just a stair block to kind of represent a stool. Um, over to the right, we have the storage area. Um, now, these blocks are, I can't exactly remember how I got them, but if you do download the texture pack, um, I'm sure somewhere. In the description you're gonna find a way to get these blocks basically it's a block ID which you need to give yourself um, and place them or, or use single player commands to basically spawn them moving on we have the study area um, again some storage we got um, a flower pot study area for a person to sit um, crafting tables and over here we have these paintings which kind of fitted perfectly whoops um, now it's not very perfect. Um, over here, again, another study area or a place to basically have a drink or sit or discuss plans. A painting is also missing from there, but um, this is carpet as well as some bookshelf fitted into the ground. And this would be brown carpet. Again, some flower pots and paintings. Pretty basic stuff. I'm sure you guys can actually copy this just by looking at it. Over here we have the entrance to the stables, I'm not too sure if I placed the door, can't exactly remember, but um, again, stable area, we got some hay, which has, has also been fitted into the ground and is kind of useful. Also some fence across the ceiling just to kind of give you something else to look at. Now this room has been absolutely filled with clutter. Um, again, we've got some fence across the ceiling, we've got the glowstone surrounded by trapdoors and basically just a bunch of stuff. We've got um, crafting tables, pressure plates, flower pots, um, storage, a melon, paintings, furnace. Um, this is also a, a carpet, I believe it's a yellow carpet if you do want that. Um, a hopper and I did show you, show you this room before when we were building the interior. Now up on the second floor, there isn't much to the interior. This room can actually be changed into a library. I think that would be a good idea. Um, if you don't want to do that, just basically leave it empty and maybe add some paintings, some storage. <laughs> Pretty much storage er everywhere, to be honest. Um, this is quite useful as well. Um, place to sit, just basically red carpet across there. Um, over to the other side is obviously the entrance or staircase up to the next floor. And this is the important room. This is the council. Um, a few things you need to do. I'm not too sure if you can copy this just by looking at it. But we've got some brown carpet on the floor. This is very simple. Just um, upside down staircase. If you can just see that. Um, surrounded by trap doors. Half slab straight across. Um, some pressure plates. And the stools or chairs. Basically is a slab 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 um, gate in the center trap door on the side and just basically staircase which has been stacked on top of each other creating these weird shapes um, but it makes quite a useful chair I'm pretty sure you could copy this um, just by looking at it um, obviously lots of paintings each corner has been surrounded by um, sh sh not shelving units 
Um, I've completely gone blank. It's too late. Um, bookshelf, bookshelf, lots of bookshelf. And that is pretty much it. Also on the outside, you're gonna notice these kind of benches or shelving units. Um, just basically some trap doors straight across and we have the iron bars to kind of hold it up. It, that's basically what it looks like. Um, now there's not really much more to explain with the interior. Um, the rest is pretty straightforward. So if you do want to look at the rest of the building, um, just basically go to my channel and click on the show around version of this building. And I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to copy the rest of the build just by following the show around because it's pretty much straightforward stuff using your standard um, decorative blocks, if you know what I mean. So yeah guys, there's pretty much nothing left for me to explain, that is pretty much everything for this tutorial video um, and pretty much this build overall. It's been four long videos, a lot of hard work, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and again, I would really appreciate it if you take a moment to rate, comment and subscribe. Right now I'm working on the 50,000 subscriber special, I'm not exactly too sure if I'm going to be able to finish it on time depending on how many subscribers I gain, but um, either way. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll finish it and um, you guys will also like it. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. This is Jerocraft, over and out.